What's up guys, it's Caleb, and today we're going to be detailing my own personal 2015 Volkswagen Golf R. Now reason for this, as you saw in the title sequence, is that we went on a very long road trip to Key West and back. So we're talking about 7 hour drive there, 7 hour drive back on some pretty rugged terrains as well as smooth and rainy and it's just, it's just so much. Looking at the exterior, it is filthy. You can't really tell because it's paint corrected, there's a coating on it, it looks shiny on camera because any car looks good on camera, but trust me. It's in bad shape and for the interior I mean you can tell it's it's in rough shape so we're gonna go ahead and start with the wheels as usual I'm using the hand pump foam sprayer thing you saw on my wheel video if you haven't seen the wheel video I'll link it down below some of these clips were used in that video and yeah we're gonna get these wheels dialed in before we move to the paint Now we move into pre-washing the vehicle, so I'm going to take my pressure washer, I'm going to go ahead and rinse the whole thing down, try to get that first layer of dirt off that's on the surface. I'm not going to use any kind of pre-treatment, mostly because I don't want to harm the coating in any way, shape, or form, so we're going to use our trusty pressure washer, spray it all down.
hope you guys like that little edit there for foaming down the car. In case you want to know, that was a PF22 foam cannon, and I was using Chemical Guy Citrus washing gloss for the actual wheel soap. Now that the car is all foamed down, we're going to move to my MAC Shine Ever So Soft Detail Brush. Since the car is not extremely dirty on the little crevices and stuff, we're going to go ahead and brush down all the hard to get places, and then we're going to move on to the hand washing. Usually after I foam down the car, I always rinse everything off before I move into hand washing. Yeah, you can go and hand wash while the car is foamed down because the foam is going to add lubricity to you washing the car and that's going to prevent you from having any mars or scratching the clear coat. But one thing you need to think of is that car soap, some of them have polymers in it and that polymer is going to grab onto the dirt and eventually slide it off as you rinse it off. Some car soaps don't, which can be a problem, which means dirt's still going to be on that surface, which also means when you put your mitt down for hand wash, it's going to latch onto that dirt and the dirt has the chance to mar or scratch your clear coat. I don't like to have any of that possibility there, so I just rinse everything off, plus it's a lot of fun. Go ahead and dry her off. Blow stuff out of hard to get places. And yeah.
are moving into the interior part of the vehicle, so I start by taking everything out that's in relation to the owner, that means belongings, obvious trash, whatever it may be. Then I take out the floor mats and give those a good wash, that way they're dry by the time we're done with the interior. And then I move into vacuuming the whole inside and dusting off all the hardscapes. So for cleaning the floor mats, since these are like all weather floor mats, they are rubber, they're really good. I'm using Meguiar's APC diluted 4 to 1, which means it's going to give some solid cleaning power. And I'm using a soft wheel brush, usually meant for the faces of the wheels. We're going to spray the cleaner onto the floor mats. We're going to scrub them in, make sure everything gets nice and clean. And then we're going to rinse it all off and leave them out to dry while we do the rest of the interior. If you're vacuuming seats, especially leather ones, and you're having problems getting into the little crevices, just like you would on the exterior of the vehicle when washing, on the interior, go ahead and use a little stiffer detail brush while you're vacuuming, and brush it right along the tip of the vacuum. It's going to really make it a lot easier to suck up everything that's in the crevices. Doing this will save you so much time and a lot of stress. Now I'm pulling out my smaller, ever so soft detail brush made by Max Shine. This is the perfect brush whenever you are dusting off all the dirt, dust, debris, whatever's on your dash. It protects it, especially with a car like this one here that has the piano black. This stuff scratches if you look at it wrong. So having a really delicate detail brush to dust off all the dirt and everything is perfect. And once that's all done, get a nice soft microfiber towel, spray some all-purpose cleaner on it, and wipe everything down and make sure it's clean and perfect.
cleaning the leather seats. So for those of you who don't know, leather seats are usually just a few years old, like newer cars and stuff. There is some sort of clear coat that's built into the top layer of the leather, so using a leather conditioner is kind of useless. So I like to focus on something that's tried and true. This is Grio Garage's 3-in-1 Leather Cleaning. You've seen me use it in other videos. It focuses on cleaning, conditioning, and protecting, but overall it's just a really good product. You spray some on, you scrub it in or wipe it into the seats, depending on how soiled they are, and you're pretty much done. The seats look amazing and they're protected as well as shiny and look all new and smell nice. Now just because you may have a newer vehicle, I don't recommend just going willy-nilly and throwing any kind of cleaner on it. If you don't have a leather cleaner, I would recommend using an all-purpose cleaner of some sort, but dilute it like a lot. Like I'm talking 20 to 1 sort of dilution ratio. If not, stick to a solid leather cleaner like Rio Garages or Meguiar's or if you're feeling fancy, use something like Swiss Vax. <laughs> Arguably one of the best parts about interior details, especially if there's a lot of black plastic bits on the interior, is putting on the interior dressing. I recently have switched to using Hyper Dressing by Meguiar's because this stuff is actually really nice. Usually I'm extremely picky about the products I use, I test them for a while, but this one right here, Meguiar's, really knocked it out of the park and it's been around for a while. Not only does it look so nice, but it lasts a decently long time and the thing I love about it most too is that you can also use it as a tire dressing if put on properly, which you'll see here in a little bit. I use it with a brush, put it on the tire. If you watch my real video, you know what I'm talking about the wheel video is linked down below if you're interested please try hyper dressing from Meguiar's you will not regret it Look at that tire dressing, like it's beautiful. It's a matte black finish that you you can't beat it. I mean, honestly, look at that. But anyways, we're wrapping it up here, almost to the final montage that I usually do. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave me a like down below. And if you enjoy this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe. I upload weekly videos here of detailing different cars. If you're interested in any of the products I use in this video, they are linked down below. There's a bunch of them, so you have a lot of variety to choose from. Go ahead and click the link and purchase you some. Thank you guys so much for your time, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thank you.